Biden's Ukraine visit upstages Putin and leaves Moscow's military pundits raging. Damn. So Biden goes to Ukraine in the middle of a war with missiles and bullets firing back and forth and on the anniversary to the day of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. You, sir, are showing what putting your dick on the table with the balls, what it looks like. Because, damn, that's bold. He didn't ask Russia if he can go to Ukraine. He told them, yo, I'll be there tomorrow. Probably 9.13 in the morning, have breakfast with the Ukrainian president, maybe walk around the city, take some photos. That's where I'll be. I mean, what's up? Oh, and I'll be, I'll be carrying the nuclear football with me so I can boop, boop, boop at any time. You don't want these problems. What? what? Boop, boop, boop. Okay, uh, cool, cool. That's what I thought. <laughs> like, and, you know, Putin was pissed because he probably had his little speech prepared. And, you know, he's got his generals. You going to take that? Yeah, you going to take that. You would take it too. Like, what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> boop, boop, boop. So, you don't want them problems. Now, that's power. Like, that's like when you see, like, two people on the street fighting and someone in the crowd is like, hey, all I know is neither of you motherfuckers better bump into my car. I'm fucking both y'all up. And these two people be throwing blows. But guess what? I'm be throwing blows near the dude's car because they don't want them problems. That's why I couldn't be the president. Because I would be out there with my holding that nuclear football like, hey, get my good side. <laughs> boop, 